Hey guys, this is the 13th video in the LibGDX desktop tutorial. So in the last video we did some, uh, we did the sound effects. So, um, the game is practically done now. All you need to do really here is just add some flying saucers, but, uh, I'm gonna skip that for now because I want to get to the, uh, high scores and saving your high scores. So, um... Before we get started with the high scores, we're going to need the main menu, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So we already have the play state here. If you go into the game state manager, um, you'll see we already have a play state over here, which is what we've been doing everything on, but now we are going to create a new game state, and we're going to call this menu state, like that, and extends game state. Okay, so if you take a look at the game state class, you'll see that every game state is going to need these five methods. So let's just pop that in there. You can uh, just fix, do the quick fixes if you want. Public menu state game state uh, manager GSM and then just super GSM. For now, import and you can go over here and add un add unimplemented methods if you want. I'll just type it out. It's really no problem. Public void uh, update. Let's see. What do I have? Update float dt draw handle input dispose update float dt um, draw and handle input and dispose. Okay. So we got those five methods. Um, init, update, draw, handle, input, and dispose. So this menu state is pretty much going to be the, the main menu for the game. Um, so if we go back into the game state manager over here, in the constructor we set the first game state to be play. We're just going to set that to menu here instead so that the, main, uh, the menu state is going to be the first game state that gets loaded up. Also going to need to uncomment this. There we go. And import the menu state. Sweet. So uh, let's just get right into the menu state here. We're going to need the uh, sprite batch to draw text. We're going to need to draw text for this. Um, also going to need some fonts. Font for the title and font for the menu options. Uh, bitmap font, just font, and import those. String title, it's just asteroids. Might as well be final. I'd like final string title equals asteroids. All right. Um, we're also going to need the menu, and I'm just going to use an array to hold all of the menu options. So I'm going to need the current menu option, and a bunch of them menu items in a string array. And uh, yeah, so let's get started with that. We have the constructor called init. Uh, I think this calls init already. Yeah, in the game state, so I don't need the init over here. So, init. Um, first off, we're going to need to set the sprite batch. New sprite batch. Um, <clears throat> now, I, I've been thinking about this, and I don't know if it's best to have each game state have their own sprite batch, or to have one main sprite batch in the game here, and then just pass that main sprite batch to all the other game states. But, whatever. Um, I guess you can do whatever you want, but I'm giving each game state their own sprite batch, so. Uh, what else? We need the font. So again, like before, if we type font generator. And you need to be using libgdx version uh, 0.9.8 for this to work, I think. Because um, I think the later versions, the nightly builds, did it differently. So this isn't going to work if you're using the latest nightlies. Free type font generator, um, gdx.files.internal, and this is font slash uh, 
over here hyperspace bold font dot ttf okay uh, fonts slash hyperspace bold dot ttf okay and import those cool so now that we have that down um public void init now we can get the title font and the font using this uh whoa what the hell i just called this gsm that's weird it's supposed to be gen for generator uh title font equals gen dot generate font and uh, we're gonna give it a size of 56 and uh might as well set the color to white also import that and make sure you're using uh, libgdx's color class, not the java Ot color. Also we need the font, which is pretty much the same thing. Gen.generateFont. And this one's going to be size 20. We're not setting the color for this because the color depends on which uh, menu item we're currently on. So, yeah, that's the font, that's the title font. Um, let's see the menu items. New string. We're gonna have three menu items: play, high scores, and quit. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So an update. Obviously, we're just. Let me move this down here. Okay. Update handle input. First thing all the time. Handle input is the first thing in update. Um. <clears throat> that's pretty much gonna be it for update I think so let's go ahead and draw first off um, I didn't do this before in the play state I really should have but uh, sb.set projection matrix I should have set it to the game .cam combined. I don't know why it works automatically I guess um, I guess somehow gdx dot uh, graphics dot get width and get height automatically get defaulted into the sprite batch I'm not really sure so um yeah let's go ahead and draw the menu here speed up again draw menu well first let's draw the title or uh, sp begin sp end over here we're gonna draw the title and um, we're gonna try to center it uh, on the center of the screen so in order to do that we're going to need uh, to find the width of the title, which is um, title font dot get bounds title dot width title. Oh my god! Like that, and uh, we're gonna draw title font dot draw using the sprite batch the title, and this is gonna be game dot width minus w divided by two and three hundred high. Oh, this is weird. I hope you can see that. Uh, let me just move this down. Draw SB title game dot width minus width divided by two three hundred. So this is a uh, draw title. Let's see what that looks like. There it is. Asteroids title. Now we're gonna draw the menu down here. And for this, uh, since the menu items are in a, an array of strings, we're, gonna, we're just going to use a for loop to go through them. As that's the menu items at length, I++. Plus plus. Uh, first off, we're going to use the width again, because we want to center it on the screen. Is um, this font that get bounds. Pretty much the same thing. Um, menu items, I dot, and then dot width. And uh, we have to color it differently. If we're on the current option, then we have to color it red. Otherwise, color it white. Current item is equal to I. Then we're going to font that set color. Color dot red. Otherwise, oops, font dot set. Wow, set color. Color dot white. And then just draw similar, exactly the same as this, pretty much. Font.draw 
and then I'll just use one line for argument here. SB, oops, SB, uh, menu items I, SB, menu items I, uh, game dot width minus width divided by two, and uh, we're gonna move this downwards. So 180 minus 35 times I should be fine. Okay, let's see what that looks like. There we go. So there's our menu. Um, now we need to do handle input. Every time we press up or down, we should, you know, move up and down the the uh, the current item in the list. So handle input if game keys that is pressed. Uh, game keys the up. Then uh, import that. We're gonna do if current. <laughs> current item is greater than zero and current item minus minus if game keys that is pressed game keys that down the opposite direction current oops item is less than menu items dot length minus one uh, then current item plus plus And finally, if game keys that is pressed, uh, game keys dot enter, then uh, we want to select whatever main menu, uh, whatever current item we have selected. So um, we're going to do that over here. Private would select if current item is equal to zero. That's the play option. So play is zero, high scores is one, quit is two. So zero is a play. We're just going to do gsm dot set state game state manager dot play. Go to the play state. Else, if current item is equal to one, gsm dot set state. Uh, we're gonna do game state manager dot high scores. We don't have that yet, so I'm just gonna comment that out for now. We don't have a high score states high scores state yet, so. Else, if current item is equal to 2, then we're just going to do gdx.app.exit. So that's just going to quit the game. Let's see if that works. Um, yeah, so down, up, okay, and if I press enter on quit, it'll quit. And if I press enter on high scores, nothing happens, and on play, I'll play. Cool. Uh, one more thing before I end this video, and that's getting back to the main main menu from the play state. Remember, when the player dies, you should go back to the main menu. So back in play state, over here in the update method, we have uh, update player over here, and we do if player is dead, reset, lose life, return. Otherwise, um, if player dot get lives is equal to zero, that means we have no more extra lives and we should go back to the, uh, what do you call it? The menu state, gsm dot set state, game state, manager dot menu, like that. So let's see if that works. I'm just gonna kill myself and I should get back to the main menu. So that works. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. In the next video I am going to do the high scores and I'm going to show you how to do, I think I use serialization to do the high scores, but I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.